Welcome, welcome on this beautiful Sunday evening. Uh, my name is Stephanie Dawn, and I'm so excited to be here with you this evening. We are here to share with you about uh, an opportunity that we are so excited about that many of us who are here who have been working this opportunity for several years. Myself, I'm a leader with the company. I've been working it for five and a half years, and it has absolutely changed my life in terms of my own health and my wealth. And I will be sharing more about that in a moment, but I wanted to introduce to you a woman who is also a leader with the company. She is an incredible human being. She is my side by in business. We do everything together. And she has had uh, enormous success with the company, a little bit longer than me, uh, over six years. And she's really um, the embodiment of um, someone who has completely transformed her own health and her own wealth. And she not only has done that to support herself, but to support her family in the Philippines. And so, uh, Rachel, I'd love to, um, to uh, have you share your story and, and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. And it's great to see all your faces. Thank you for coming tonight. Whoever invited you really cares about you and is would love to collaborate and work with you. And that's um, really one of the things that's so powerful about this opportunity we have and how we all work together is that we all get to be entrepreneurs with the community and we get to learn how to be entrepreneurs and we get to learn how to do it while being busy moms, busy dads, busy people, people who have businesses, people who are already doing other things. Um, but, you know, right now during the holidays, this is, this is a great time to um, also have an extra stream of income. So, you know, we like to support people in that and we all work together um, with other practitioners or people who are interested in being, you know, in the world of holistic health or people who are interested in the stewardship and the environment um, or people who are just really just passionate about helping other people. And Stephanie is a great example of that. She's a wonderful leader. She has, um, she's the chair of the Million Mom Movement, um, which also offers scholarships and helps um, moms, uh, parents, even dads, um, letting someone in, uh, helping, helping moms and dads <laughs> and people who have children um, to really thrive and have their own businesses. And, also be able to have access to nutrition, um, especially in food deserts, right? So this is something that is near and dear to my heart that she is part of the Million Mom Movement. She'll be sharing her story too a little bit later, which is really fascinating. Both the health aspect of her story is fascinating and, and, um, and how she's been able to support herself with her business um, during a time where uh, she was recovering from breast cancer. So this is huge. Um, we'll talk about, we'll get to that soon. So I'll put that as like a little, as a little carrot to stay on and find out. Um, so thank you for that beautiful introduction, Stephanie. I appreciate you. appreciate being here. Uh, my story, my story with, um, with our company starts about six years ago, but prior to that, I'd been, you know, sick for nine years and I had also been a thriving wedding photographer. So I was having um, a very successful career traveling, you know, to Hawaii and all over the place, all over the United States, and uh, just being a, just doing something that was really creative and interesting, but it was also super, super high intensity energy, very demanding, required a lot of like intention and hands-on and constant communicating. And has anyone here ever been an entrepreneur before? Um, if you have, drop a one in the chats. If you if you know what it means to be an entrepreneur, you know the work, you know the love and the effort that goes into it. If they become our babies. We work really hard. Um, what are the things that go along with being an entrepreneur? Well, for me, I had to create my own website. I had to figure out my prices. I had to learn how to get comfortable asking for my price. And then I had to learn how to raise my price over time to, um, to fit my, my lifestyle. And um, I also had to learn how to uh, talk to my clients, my customers, the people I was going to serve in my business. And I had to learn how to um, create a, a, a product that was, that was, that was, that matched the market, you know, for what I offered. So here I was this thriving wedding photographer, but as I was building, 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 took me years to build. 
lots of time and energy, lots of money, <laughs> as it took me all this effort to build my business. Um, once it started rolling, there is this point in your business, right? When you're an entrepreneur, like maybe a year, a couple of years in, where it starts to roll on its own and you have like kind of this, this, this thing, this wheel going. But oftentimes, a couple of years in, we're still in debt. I was, I was in debt for a few years. And uh, it's kind of the norm in uh, our society and our culture, our kind of worldwide culture, um, to go into debt in order to be able to start a business. Like this is very common. So that we end up in debt and then we're in debt for years. So how many of you have um, spent money on schooling, whether a certification or higher education, and you know, maybe you're still in debt from that, 60,000, 100,000, you know, um, or even just like 20, 20,000 or 10,000, just for like whatever your product investment was. Um, some people have had a storefront. Has anyone here ever had a storefront? Um, okay, so, and then, and then like, you know, usually people take out loans on a storefront that might be $70,000. That could be $100,000 and it could be $200,000, right? So for me personally, I, you know, had this really um, great opportunity and I, and, I, and I did this for a while, but eventually what happened was figuring all this out, spending all this money, getting just like really expending myself. Um, at a certain point, I ended up getting sick. And part of that was from all my constant travel and like, and, and, and then ended up working. When you have your own business, you often work more than the 40 hours that most people work, right? 40 hours a week is sort of the standard nine to five. But as entrepreneurs, we're like in it in our heads at night, going to sleep. I was stressing myself out. I'm working, you know, sometimes I'll be working like 20 hour days, literally um, waking up at 6 a.m., like working until the wee hours of the night at Indian weddings, which were fun and beautiful, but also quite taxing. And I ended up getting really sick I burnt myself out. I burnt out my adrenals. And uh, so here I was really working hard. I was, um, I was earning a good income, but I was still working within the dollars per hour paradigm. So I was still basically trading, you know, time, money for time for money. Um, and there was only so much I could earn at a certain point. I couldn't see how I could, I was like always kind of go, trying to earn, figure out how to earn more but there's always a scaling up, right? Scaling up of the business. And that can take a lot of effort and a lot of energy and a lot of stress and a lot of time. And it can cost a lot of money to scale up. So there's, there's this constant, like trying to keep up with the Joneses, social media changing, trying to keep with, with all the different things, being an entrepreneur. And so I burn out. I, my adrenals were taxed and I got to a point where I started praying for a way out. Please, God, help me find a nine to five. You know, I was like thinking like, I just need to like align myself with this habit and not just trust. It was becoming, business was out doing me. And I ended up getting sick and I ended up having Hashimoto's autoimmune disorder with thyroid. So long story short is uh, I made a decision at a certain point after not being able to work for a while, I started going, this has got to change. I'm sick. And now I'm starting to get broke because I'm living off my income. Because what happens when you can't work? If you're an entrepreneur, there's no money, right? We don't have a particular, the kind of, um, most entrepreneurs don't have the kind of uh, income model that at least small business owners that have um, residual income where we can actually step away from our businesses and work and, um, you know, step away from business and not take a rest and then still get paid so that we can actually like have that sort of as health insurance. So this is the model that I, I, I didn't know I was in um, until I found something else, but I did finally let realize that I needed to change. I made a decision. I said, enough's enough. I'm done being broke and I'm done being sick. That went out like a massive prayer and just somehow, somehow must have rippled through the universe because all of a sudden one day I got tagged in a post on Facebook about, about an opportunity. And I said, what, let's give it a try. I don't even know what this is but you know, I could use some help. And so I was actually drawn to the health aspect. So I jumped in and um, as soon as I found out that there was like a business model, I said, oh, this sounds really interesting. I could really use this. I don't really know what it means, but I'm gonna, you know, I could see the opportunity to work from my, from my phone, from my, phone, from my, from my bed. <laughs> and actually that's what I was looking for, just something where I could just stay put and relax. So, you know, I jumped in. And um, within a short time, uh, my within like actually seven days, my health had been was totally repaired. I honestly like my my bloating disappeared, 
my, um, all my symptoms were of like brain fog and exhaustion disappeared. And I just suddenly had energy to like climb a mountain. And I was really surprised that it lasted. It's been six years since that, since that moment, I've been using like the daily basic um, products, which are all these incredible herbs, these amazing superfoods, just delicious nutrients. And I have been healthy since. So that was such what was I, what I was definitely looking for. What I wasn't really expecting was that I was going to be able to let go of photography completely. And within four to five months, I let go. I was earning enough income with this company that I was actually making just enough that I could let go of my wedding photography business. And within a year, um, you know, my father passed away and uh, we have a big family in the Philippines. He has um, a couple of children there and then they all have children. And so long story short is I was able to, when my father died a year later, I was able to take on his legacy and pretty much financially adopt my family, my, 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 my brothers and sisters and their children. And have been ever since, especially during this time of, you know, lockdowns, I've been able to support a family that's been struggling and put three children through college with my income from with, with this the business model in this company and help them actually start businesses so that they could become more independent of me. That's something that's still, still a work in progress. I have dreams about um, what I'm going to do in the Philippines. So, but so far, you know, they're steady. Um, so this is really, you know, and so now when I think about the future, What's really cool is that the business model that we're we're talking about is, um, you know, it's something that allows for residual income. And Stephanie's going to talk about that in, in a moment. But this is something that really allows for residual income. And I feel like that is so imperative these days to have something that can continue to pay you so that we can have leaves of absence when life happens, when stress happens, when a parent dies or God, you know, God forbid anyone die, but like things happen in life, right? Somebody gets ill, things that we can't predict. And this is something that Stephanie's story is so poignant and points to. So, you know, I feel finally like I can breathe, like I can actually, like I know I'll be taken care of in the future. This is a business that I can pass on. Um, I can pass on as a legacy to my um, stepdaughter um, and, my, and other family members. Like you can actually pass this on as an asset to somebody, which is really, really wonderful. And so without further ado, I'm going to actually just invite Stephanie to share her story, who, we were, who was speaking earlier, and uh, um, share with us a little bit about the business model as well. So thank mm -hmm. you, Stephanie. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. So I'll share a little bit of my, my, my um, business story, because um, we're not going to go too much into the whole health side of things tonight. We're sticking with the biz. So I was a very busy, successful business coach five and a half years ago. I was not looking for another stream of income. I was very happy in my line of work, although I was working a lot. And um, when I found out about um, the when I found out about what we had with Purium, my interest was piqued, but I didn't really understand it until I took it seriously and started sharing actively. And it was when I started sharing actively and the residual income started coming in, I was like, Hmm, residual income with these excellent products. This is an incredible opportunity. Like it just landed on me and I'm like, this is my exit strategy to get out of the dollars for hours paradigm. Because even though I loved what I did as a business coach, it was still, you know, I was where the rubber met the road, right? Like it all, everything just landed on my shoulders. I was responsible for all of it. And with the, um, with the beautiful community that we have here with upline, downline, crossline, this gorgeous community of support, all of a sudden I was doing business with a whole bunch of people. It wasn't just me and my clients. And so little by little, I started making money with Purium and then it rapidly started to escalate. And so now Purium is my number one income. And what Rachel was referring to a moment ago is that two and a half years ago, I thought I was healthy. I thought everything was great. And I received a breast cancer diagnosis and I was in absolute shock. I, yeah, I did not see that coming. And consequently, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I decided to heal my body naturally. And I took six months off to heal my body. And um, I went to an amazing center in Mexico called Hope for Cancer. And I stopped working though. I stopped my business coaching and I stopped my Purian business. And thank God for Rachel <laughs> and my entire team 
because while I was looking after myself, Rachel was caring for my team while I cared for my body. And the money kept coming in all those months, six months, until I was ready to get back into the saddle. So it was like financial insurance for me. So that was very meaningful as someone who'd been steeped in the dollars for hours paradigm for a very long time. To have that residual income keeping me and my children was profound for me. And so the way that this business works is it's the social sharing economy, all right? We all have friends, we all have colleagues, we all have neighbors, we all have family, and we share codes. That's what we do when we get this business is we share codes. And these codes are good for an entire year. You get an unlimited amount of codes to share. And the code allows for your people, your friends, your community to receive 25% off, okay? Of whatever they purchase in perpetuity. This is the beauty of residual income. So they become your customer once and then they come back the next month or maybe they come back three months from now, you're still gonna get um, 20% of whatever they purchase in perpetuity, all right? So they get 25% off their first purchase and then you receive 20% in commissions of whatever they purchase. So this is not hard and here's why. Everyone needs what we have. As someone who has been in a deep dive into my own health journey, particularly after the cancer diagnosis, I, I can say this absolutely underscore bold exclamation point. What we have here is changing lives every single day. It's changing people's health and it's transforming people's wealth. And if you haven't heard about Purium, then it, that's a, you know, that's not a surprise to me actually, because we're just getting started. <laughs> we're just getting started. And so I still believe even after five and a half years, that this is a ground floor opportunity for what it is that we have here. And it's for me personally, it's really allowed me to merge my prosperity with my activism. I've been a long time in environmental, social justice, medical freedom, birth freedom, activist. And, uh, and now, as Rachel mentioned, I'm the chair of the Million Mom Movement. I was tapped by our founders to be the chair of our council of five of us moms who work every week, every day, actually, uh, every month to help um, our, our friends, our community, our field, our, our corporate field to understand what's going on with our food systems and the degree to which our foods that we're all eating are toxic. So I take that job very seriously as the chair of the Million Mall Movement. And it's really an honor for me to function in that capacity within this business model. It's like we have this full on activist arm within this corporation, which I think is so groovy. Yes, I'm a child of the 70s. <laughs> so um, Rachel, I'd love to give the baton back to you. Could you talk in your own words about why Purium, why now? Why do you think this opportunity is um, so impactful for the times that we're living in? Well, there's so many really profound reasons. Um, to sum it up, I would say the, the impact globally on our environment is extremely important right now. We know that we're, we all know that we're kind of in the spotlight of this kind of like, we get to make a decision right now, which direct direction are we going with our, with our world, right? And so this is an opportunity to commit to a solution and to be part of a solution and have that solution be your movement, um, your way of, of, um, of sharing. This is an opportunity to share what you believe in um, with as many people as possible and spread that ripple and then create a team and create a legacy, right? Um, as far as health, people are struggling because of the planet, right? We're going in layers here. Because of the planet, because of all the soil erosion, because of the depleted soil, which Stephanie has done many, many speeches on the soil issues. But we have a soil problem. We have glyphosate being spread everywhere on all of the crops, gene genetically modified crops in our parks, in children's parks, on trees, everywhere. And we cannot escape glyphosate, not to mention formaldehyde and all the other toxins, but glyphosate is an agricultural problem that we have. And this is something that we have a solution for. So this is an important time to be choosing, making sure that we're aligning with a company, not just with, um, with representing it, but also in all the choices that in this company teaches us to always choose organic, to choose the right path as much as we can possibly afford. 
in order to be a uh, part of the solution of this planetary destruction that we're seeing on, the, on, a, on a massive level. And our farms are actually regenerating the soil. We're doing, um, we're doing a lot to, uh, in the way that we harvest, the way that we plant, the kind of soil we use. We have rich topsoil that's like 90 feet to 200 feet deep. And um, usually, you know, topsoil is eroding to the point that there's not nutrients below a, a foot of soil, right? So we have like a, a total soil, soil depletion. So now we're talking about humans. Now let's talk about people and pets, our animals and all the ones who tread this earth, right? But the ones that we're feeding with these agricultural disasters are now more than ever struggling with incredible disease. We have like a, a crazy amount of diabetes, cancer. It's an epidemic of mass proportions. And now of course we have um, COVID and um, all the different, all the, all kinds of different health issues, Epstein-Barr virus, you know, strep, dacaucus, um, herpetic viruses. We have like an abundance of massive super viruses happening at this time that are really, really taking over. So now more than ever, we have a deep, deep need to help people make choices and have a choice, something that's healthy, like the nutrients that we need to add to our food is, is, is very, very, this nutrients is very, very high high dense, rich nutrition. And this is why people have such an incredible surge of energy. I didn't finish my story and tell you guys how my energy totally surged through the roof. Maybe I did. I became a pro bodybuilder from sleeping five, five times a day, taking naps to becoming a professional bodybuilder, winning an international pro competition and uh, tall too. So there she is over there. Tall also um, has had, has, has went from like having a design interior design business, being exhausted and depleted. And now she owns a gym because she had so much energy. She started working out all the time. And then suddenly she had a gym. She, you know, got off a flood of medications and is no longer, you know, diabetic. And, you know, she's having an amazing life right now. So, I mean, this is, this is, this is what makes me happy. This is what makes me able to sleep at night, knowing that every single day I get up and I work. And then the people that I'm helping are people like Tal, people like Stephanie. I'm helping them make changes in their life. And I'm also helping them earn income. These are moms who are really have, who have a great need, especially at times when there's a lot of homeschooling. We have to work from home, a lot of people. And that comes to the fourth issue. That's the fourth pillar, right? We've got people, purpose, planet. The fourth pillar is prosperity. And so this is also an opportunity to help people, you know, earn income, especially right now we got, you know, people want to earn more income through the holidays. Um, a lot of people are like $500 short of being able of a financial disaster. Some people are heavily in debt because debt is the norm. We're taught to get heavily in debt. And so this is a really incredible opportunity to own a business that does not have overhead. You don't need to, in the, coming back to the beginning of the conversation where, uh, you know, anybody who's had a business knows we spent, you could spend, you know, thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars starting a business. And that's not, and we don't have to do that here. We don't have to do that here. And that is the beauty of um, starting, a, starting a, a business with a company that already has a business model established, um, you know, being an affiliate, an ethical network marketer. Basically, this combination together gives you the empowerment to help people, not just with their help, but also help other people with their finances, help other people earn, even just some people just want to do this part time, just earn an extra 500 a month. That's awesome. You know, and then you can also like continue to take a product and have your products, products paid for. That's really useful, right? So this is something that we can help people like transform their health and transform their wealth. And so we have an incredible mentorship program. It's free, right? We just basically offer the company has all different kinds of Zooms throughout the week, throughout the day that you can plug into and learn how to be an entrepreneur. And if you are already an entrepreneur, you already have a business that's thriving. This can help you help that business thrive more because we have free training, free training on social media, free training on Instagram, free training on, um, you know, all the different aspects of marketing. Stephanie just launched a course um, on um, healing cats naturally. She's also, you know, she's also built websites. I mean, we, we can learn so much about how to help the businesses we already have and then we can also help, this can also help boost our businesses by having another thing to offer, as well as to even transition. If you're like me, I completely transitioned away from wedding photography four to five months in. I saw the opportunity. I said, this is what I want to do. I want to help people. This feels, this wedding photography was glamorous, but this feels important. This feels heart-centered. 
This feels like I am doing what I've always wanted to do, which is make a difference on the earth and help people with health, especially after my father died of diabetes. I said, no more. I don't want to see that happening anymore. I want to help people. So it's been amazing to offer this kind of nutrients to people. And it's just, it's, it's nutrients on a level. It's soul nutrients. Okay. I never said that before. This is soul nutrients. <laughs> like me now. So, <laughs> Love so it. thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate the opportunity to speak on that. Yeah. So great. So my dears, uh, thank you for taking time on your Sunday night to be here with us. If you're looking for a health transformation, we've got that. If you're looking for a wealth transformation, we've got that. If you're feeling, if you're leaning in, if you're feeling a resonant yes in your body, then we want you with us. We want you with us. I can't move the mission of the Million Mom movement forward without you. Whether you're a, a mom who's actually given birth to a, a baby or you're a man who has not, it doesn't matter. The Million Mom Movement is for everyone. And so we are a movement of many. And, uh, and what we have here is very special. So I hope that you have found value for your time today. I hope that you uh, have picked up some of what we've been putting down for you. And, uh, you know, we, what can I say? You know, people need what we have. They, they are um, transforming their own lives and, and their own bank accounts every single day. So we'd love to have you with us. If you want more information, just reach out to the person that invited you here today. And um, they would be happy to talk with you and share more because you probably have some questions. All right. Thank you so much for your time. We're keeping it 30 minutes. God bless. And um, yeah, all the best to you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks so much, all.